Hi guys, in this video we're going to make a cake of one of the characters that was drawn by Chris Reinach. I just recently bought his little colouring book and I loved all the pictures in there and I thought wouldn't it be great to make a cake of something like this. Although the one I actually chose isn't in the colouring book but they are all really cute little characters in there should you fancy getting one of those books. In fact I'll put a link below my video so you can find where I got it from. And this one I actually found on his Instagram page. So I printed off a picture roughly to the size I wanted it. You can see similar kind of size to my cake. And I say cake, this time I actually made a chocolate brownie. I made three of these chocolate brownies and I made them in a round cake tin so that I could stack them like I would a cake. And I've just got a little bit of chocolate ganache that I'm just spreading on my cake board. So my cake board is the same size as my chocolate brownies. So that's why they look like they're crumbling a little bit on the top. It's not actually cake. And I've just got some chocolate spread, or you can use, again, you can use chocolate ganache. I'm going to put some chocolate chips in there as well. And also some salted caramel sauce. Now you can make your own. I was just lazy this time and I went and bought some. I'm going to stack my next layer of chocolate brownie on there. So I've cut out my little picture. So I can check how high my cake needs to come to. So I'm going to need another layer of chocolate brownie on there. So I'm going to put more filling in and I'd stack more chocolate brownie on top. And I've just got a little divot in the top. So I'm just filling it in with a little bit of chocolate ganache. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start shaping my cake. So I've cut all the way around this edge. So that instead of it having a sharp corner, it's more of a curve on there. Because my cake is going to be almost a dome shape with a little bit missing up here. Now, also, if it looks a bit tough when I'm cutting through it, I did put it in the freezer. Now, I meant to leave it in for 10 minutes, left it a little bit longer. So it froze slightly more than I'd intended. So it is taking a little bit of cutting. I've cut a groove where I want the mouth to go and then I'm just going to keep curving from the top round to the sides. Keep looking at the shape of the picture so you can compare yours to that. Now if I cut off too much I'll just stick it back on again, that's not a problem. And once you've done that you're just going to cover it in some chocolate ganache. Now I've used chocolate ganache because I thought it went nicely with my brownie and also it sets quite firm so it'll give me quite a solid base when I'm putting fondant on top. So I'm just going to smooth over that the best that I can. Those of you that watch my videos will know smoothing off buttercream and ganache is not a strong point of mine. Now I want this little character to have little bumps under the surface of the skin because he looks like he's got some on the picture so we just used little chocolate chips to stick onto the ganache. And while that's setting I'm just going to mix some fondant to the colour. So I've got some pre-dyed green and also this caramel, actually caramel flavoured fondant and I'm going to mix the two together. If it's too dark just add a bit of white fondant to it. I'm just going to roll it big enough that I can cover my whole cake. Give it a smooth off just with your hands to start with. Cut off all the extra around the edge. If you want more texture on the skin, I'm just going to use a balling tool to just add some little indentations. And even just your finger. So can you see I'm just pressing little grooves in the edge of the mouth. Okay, and just using my balling tool in there. So I'm going to add the grooves all the way along the top of that mouth. And then I'm just pressing in a little bit deeper where I want the eye to sit. So can you see I cut the eye off my template so I could see the size and shape. Although actually I've done mine a little bit bigger than the one in the picture. Let's put some little kind of crease lines in the front of the eye. And let's put some little lines now underneath the eye. Just put in again a little groove where I want the teeth to go. I'm just using the balling tool for that. And let's add some extra little dots in the same colour green just to the outside surface of the skin. Now I've rolled some more fondant, same colour, and I'm cutting out little triangles for the little spines down his back. They don't need to be too big, just small triangles. Just use a little bit of water on the bottom of each one to stick them on in place. And can you see I've just drawn a couple of little lines on the side of them to give them a bit more texture. I've tried to match them to the picture the best I can. Mine's not exactly the same as the picture, but it's similar enough that I'm happy with it. So just make sure you're doing the same thing all the way around. So make sure you're putting the lines and grooves in for the other eye as well. Then I've got some white fondant for the teeth. It's kind of like a little cone shape. Just make sure the pointier end is at the top and it doesn't need to be ultra pointy. And I've got a yellow semicircle for my eye. In fact, I'm going to cut that down like that. So I've made sure I've got two the same. And I'm just going to push that in tight underneath the brow. So I'm just going to mark on first, just using a modelling tool, whereabouts I want the black bit in the eye to go. So I've got edible food colour here and it's in the dust form. So don't forget the links to everything that I use in the video are in the description box below. So we've mixed this black food colouring with a little bit of alcohol, clear alcohol, or you can use 
lemon extract or even water and I'm just going to paint the black in there and I've got an oval of white fondant rolled really thin that's just going to go in there over the top and then let's use more of these coloured dusts. So I'm just going to brush the cream all onto sort of the chin and mouth area. Now I did add blusher so it's just pink dust. Now these bits were put on dry whereas the darker bits I'm putting on wet. So the, the darker bits I've, again I've mixed with alcohol or you can use lemon extract. The alcohol does evaporate so it does leave it nice and dry. I'm painting in any lines that I want to look a bit more shaded, any of the wrinkles and then we're just putting little patches of the darker colour on. So this is actually a bit of brown, black and green mixed together for these darker patches. I've watered it down quite a bit because I didn't want it too strong in colour. While I'm just waiting for that to dry I'm going to ice my board in a nice pale blue. So I've mixed blue into white, you can see it's still a little bit marbled but that's fine for the water. I've just got a little bit of royal icing just because I had it to hand so I can stick my cake to my board. If you've still got ganache left over you can use that to stick your cake to the board. And we've got some green circles that we're just going to press on our board for our little lily pads. Just cut a little V out of each one and then I'm just going to draw some lines across like that. So coming from the centre going out. If you want to add any shading to them once you put them on you can. So again I'm just using that darker green that I used for the darker areas on the cake to just kind of paint a little bit around the edges and in the middle of those little leaves. And I've got some more of the blue that's left over from my board and I'm just going to stick like little balls of it on so it looks like the bubbles from the water. And I'm just going to roll some thin strips now so it looks like the ripples in the water just going around the cake. Then we're ready to add the little baby one to sit on the head. Now I'm just using the leftover fondant from my cake but because it's a bit soft I've had to add a little bit of Tylos powder. If you prefer you can use a modelling chocolate or a modelling paste for this. So I've got a bit of a teardrop, we've cut off the top, we're just going to put a couple of wrinkle lines in the tail. Then let's make some legs, so kind of tube shape, kind of folded into an S shape. Let's cut a little bit off the end for the toes. Just going to push in with my modelling tool to separate the toes. Just squished kind of the hip bit onto the body there. And I'll do the same on the other side. Apologies, I just keep getting it out of shot a little bit there. Now I've made my body a little bit too small so I've just added an extra piece onto the front before doing the front legs. The front legs are slightly easier than the back ones, so it's just a little sausage shape which is bent over the end. We'll put some wrinkles in above the toes and then press in with your modelling tool to separate the foot into toes. These are just going to stick on either side. So you can see that extra piece that I've put on at the front because I just made it a little bit small just bulking out the body so if your body was a little bit bigger than mine you won't need to keep bulking it out. I've just got a ball of fondant for the head. Now it's very heavy so if you prefer to do yours with polystyrene ball in the middle if it's not going to be eaten or you can put some Rice Krispie treats in the middle if you know the whole thing's going to be eaten. So I'm hoping my body's going to hold up the weight of this head. Because I've put Tylos in it it should. If I'd left it as just fondant it wouldn't. And can you see I've just put a little piece separate piece onto the front for like the mouth so that the chin and jaw area sticks out. Just going to push in a little bit for my eye socket. Just make sure you do the same on the other side. I am squashing it a little bit by accident when I'm working on one side I seem to be catching the other side so just be careful when you are working with it. Just going to try and rest this onto my body Ooh, and that actually has balanced nicely on there. Just going to add a little bit of paste to the back of the neck. I'm going to put some little crease lines above the eye, a bit like the big cake version has. So we're going to stick the eye on in exactly the same way as we did with the cake, but the slightly smaller of these eyes on this one. Adding a separate piece to the top just so it stands out a little bit more. And then let's give him some little teeth just tucked into that little jaw. And we're going to paint the eyes just as we did earlier on the bigger one. Again, a small oval of white in there and then I'm just painting it up the same way as we did with the other one so some darker patches on the top I've lightened the jaw and I'm just sticking him on with a little bit of water if you want you can use edible glue or even a little bit of your chocolate ganache and I think that's all finished this one's going to my friend Kat for her birthday I hope you've enjoyed the video and don't forget to go check out Chris Ryanek's work thank you for watching If you like the video be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now.
If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.